Leanback provides a set of pre-built widgets that are specially designed to help you create an Android TV app, particularly, but not exclusively, one that's designed to browse and play media. This UI that you see here was created entirely with Leanback. All we have to do is provide the assets, like images, and instruct Leanback how we want them laid out. We also get all of this smooth animation for free. Let's talk briefly about the principal widgets. Everything on the screen that you see here is the browse fragment. It provides our basic layout. On the left, you can see a bunch of column headers. And on the right, you can see rows. Conceptually and behind the scenes, the browse fragment is composed of a headers fragment on the left and a rows fragment on the right. This is only important to know because the headers fragment can be hidden if you'd like. And of course, each header is tied to its own individual row. Beyond layout, browse fragment does way more for us behind the scenes and it actually contains the code for all of these animations, as well as for very efficient display of large lists of media items. This is a card, and cards are a very important part of the Leanback library. A card constitutes a small view. In a media browser application, you might use cards like this to display songs or movies. If we select a card, we'll see the details fragment. It's useful for, you guessed it, showing more details about a card. In addition to details about a card, the details fragment contains actions, like watching a trailer or buying or renting a movie. And if you scroll down, you'll see a row of related videos. If we decide to watch a trailer, we'll see the playback overlay fragment. Not surprisingly, this provides controls for playing back media. Let's try it out. You'll notice that after about five seconds, the UI will fade away so the content is front and center. In addition to playback controls, you can add custom buttons to the overlay fragment, for instance, to like or dislike media. The basic strategy for building an app with Leanback is to wrap your media library so it can be displayed as a series of headers and cards on the browse fragment. We'll see how this works in code in the next lesson, but first, let's see how it works by design. Leanback follows the model, view, presenter, design pattern. And if you're not familiar with them, a design pattern is just a high-level way of describing how code is structured. There are three pieces to start, and the good news is that they pretty much all just sit there. By that, I mean they don't take any actions on their own. First, we have a model. A model is just a fancy word for a database or a content provider or however you've decided to organize and store your data. In this case, let's say we have a database of movies. Each individual movie in the database might have a text field for the title and a bitmap for the box artwork. You can see a single movie here displayed on this view. And a view is just a regular Android view that's used to display some data. Here, let's say we're using an image card view that's included with Leanback. On your UI, you'd create one of these views for each movie you'd like to display. Now, a presenter's job is to take an item from the model, say a movie, and map it to the view. Basically, all the presenter does is say the title should go here and the box artwork should go here. Simple, right? Now, as I said, at runtime, all these pieces just hang out. They're orchestrated by another class called an object adapter. An object adapter has two jobs. One, it collects item from the model. And two, it creates a view for each item. In order to create that view, it uses the presenter. In our application code, we create an object adapter and give it a presenter in its constructor. Next, we add items from our model to the object adapter that we'd like to be displayed. At runtime, Leanback uses our object adapter to create views for our items on its fragments. In the next lesson, we'll see how these concepts work in code.